students to the 11th module of this chapter and in this module we are going to talk about the structure of a stamen a carpal and we are going to learn the types of flowers just in the last module we established that carpal and stamen form the male and female reproductive parts of a flower that means these are the parts that are actually going to participate in the sexual reproduction so let us learn more about them in detail a stamen the diagram that you can see adjacent to me is that of a stamen the long stalk like structure is a filament but most important is right at the top which is the anther if you observe the anther very carefully we see that the anther is bilobed lobe means thin ear like structure exactly now each anther is bilobed moving further the anther has special cells inside it these cells produce something called as the pollen grains and these pollen grains are yellow in color very often when we touch a flower we see some yellow color particles sticking to our fingers they are none other than the pollen grains if we observe pollen grains eventually every pollen grain will produce two male gametes moving after the stamen the carpel now the right bottom swollen portion of a carpel is called as ovary what is inside the ovary as you can see demarcated by an arrow inside the ovary there is a very special structure called as the ovule now what do this ovule have let us see ovule has an embryo sac inside it it has a pouch this pouch is going to bear new life and therefore it is called as the embryo sac further right at the bottom of the embryo sac there is a very special cell called as the egg cell none other than a female gamete okay along with the egg cell right at the center can you see those two pink dot like structures what are they in the center of the embryo sac there are two special cells they are called as the secondary nucleus so now we know students inside the stamen they are going to be produced pollen grains which will eventually produce the male gametes here inside the ovule we have our egg cell now we know about our two gametes let's go further in nature we have two kinds of flowers some flowers are exclusively unisexual while some are bisexual let us learn what are this after learning about stamens and carpels let us understand that some flowers either have only stamens or they only have carpels they do not have both the male and female reproductive part together such plants or such flowers are called as unisexual and classic example of them are papaya plant or the papaya flowers or watermelon these flowers as you can see they will either bear stamens at one time and carpels would be present in some another flower but exactly opposite to this are the bisexual the very word bisexual bi means two it means the flower will contain both the male as well as the female part it will have both stamens as well as carpels and which are the examples of bisexual flowers the hibiscus or commonly we also refer to as a shoe flower and the mustard plant so now we know stamens are the male reproductive parts bearing pollen grains carpels are the female reproductive parts bearing the egg cell and there are flowers in nature which either have stamens or carpels they are called unisexual and flowers here like hibiscus and mustard they have both at a time they are called as bisexual and with this we end our module